now say to all if you are a regular channel viewer of my channel for sure you will understand the answer or you already know the answer for this question but the question is very interesting and a very very old question this is from a book written by my acharya i think 20 years back vedanta and the eternal vedas philosophy the questioner is asking a question swami ji i read your answers with interest which clears many doubts in my mind one thing that you rely is on vedas but we are ordinary people and can neither study vedas nor can fully understand them even if we go and read them however when spiritual people quote vedas it comes to my mind that had they been written in hindi or elaborated in hindi we could also get benefit of them please inform whether these are available in hindi if yes then where now my question and doubt is like this you say swami ji you say that atma is a part of paramatma may acharya did not say like that but he is asking this question it does not die it cannot be destroyed nothing can affect it in any form you say that it does not feel any grief it does not have any happiness any agony any pain it is only the body that is affected by the above said things you also say that when a person dies he carries with him only the deeds that he has performed in this life good or bad deeds and these deeds of him determines his next birth as well as the happiness and sorrows that he will have to bear in the new birth now my actual question is that if mr a for suppose does a lot of dishonest deeds and earns a lot of money and spends a lavish life and comfortable life with wine women and all the pleasures the body of mr a enjoys all these pleasures and then it dies now it takes rebirth in the human form as mr b as per your sayings this mr b's body will have to suffer for the dishonest deeds of mr a mr a's body enjoyed the fruits of dishonesty and mr b's body is suffering for the karmas of mr a as you said the soul of both is was are the same but since it is not affected by any pain and agony in case of life of a as well as the life of b the soul was unaffected now what is so wrong for the body of mr a to earn money out of dishonest means and satisfies itself the memory of mr b will never recall that it was mr a that is one body enjoyed and the other body suffered but both these bodies didn't know each other nor will they ever know so why to do satkarmas why to do satkarmas in this life and to put the present body in hardships for a future body whom i will never recollect i hope i am able to convey my question properly this dilemma haunts me please clarify my acharya ji swami ram swarup ji yoga acharya answers i have faith on the vedas because it is the knowledge direct from almighty god originated in the heart of four rishis at the time of creation god is truth so the knowledge comes from that almighty god in the shape of four vedas undoubtedly is as true as almighty god actually we are born to listen the vedas but after mahabharata war we have forgotten it I would request you to please again see the other answers regarding the origin of Vedas in my website and send your further questions. Yes, Vedas are available in Hindi and that is with Hindi description. My acharya has not written where it is available but for you to know you can order Vedas Hindi Bhashya from Arya Samaj if you want to understand a little bit. But of course as i have clarified in my previous videos you cannot understand vedas by reading books but still if you want to so my acharya writes actually atma is not part of almighty god because god cannot be deshaped and cannot be made into parts like stones so our soul is separate and god is separate due to their own qualities yet some of the qualities are common like aliveliness that is the chetanata and immortality body does not feel the pleasure body does not feel sorrows body does not feel agony pain etc as you have said in your question because the body is non alive matter being made from prakriti 
it is the soul who bears being not knowing of his own quality of evergreen due to it is covered with the illusion and illusion is due to the attachment of the soul with the prakriti that is with rajaguna tamaguna and sataguna whereas the real status of the soul is of always merriment and not to become worry sick etc but the soul has forgotten its real status due to the attachment with the prakriti as stated above so the soul feels agony the soul feels pain etc through the media of the body whereas it is not the soul's subject yes when a person gets death that is the body bodily death only and not the death of the soul he carries his good or bad deeds with him but we can burn all these deeds by adopting vedas and meditation etc to get the final liberation for which only we have taken the human body so mr a is enjoying the result of his past deeds and the present efforts to towards materialistic tasks only which are destroyed one day and are of no use if mr a is not getting spiritual preach and obeying thereof for which he was blessed with the human body therefore his present deeds will be carried forward in his next life to give the birth either in the poorest family to bear the sorrows or in a animal yoni <coughs> according to the karmas by the law of almighty god please amend your question here that the body of mr a is not enjoying it is mr a himself who is the soul which is enjoying the materialistic temporary and destroyable facilities etc so this is mr a who will suffer in his next birth also soul being same but the body is being different and feelings will be of the souls being alive and not of the bodies being non alive and non conscious and it will be according to the karmas soul is always affected either in the body of a or b and bodies are not affected please contact again after studying the answers your questions are interesting and beneficial for all what a beautiful answer so it is not the body which is suffering it is the soul which is suffering through the media of the body thank you so much namaste om